in this video i'm going to talk about how to find a transformer ratio when the dots are involved so in this chapter we're going to talk about only ideal transformer okay so ideal transformer you're going to have one is to n n is nothing but n2 over n1 okay remember always i1 current is entering this is v1 and v2 okay and i2 current is leaving because here this inductor 2 is going to act like a source for the second circuit okay because because of the induction an emf induces across second coil and it will act like a source for the second coil that's the reason i2 is leaving so in without any dots we can we can tell n2 over n1 which is n over 1 equal to v2 over v1 which equal to i1 over i2 because power on both ends are same so p1 equal to p2 v1 i1 equal to v2 i2 assuming cos theta equal to 1 so v2 over v1 equal to i1 over i2 okay so this is the transformer ratio without any dot convention now we'll include the dots so here is the first example okay so in this example there are two dots okay and i1 current is entering here is v1 and v2 say for example i2 current is uh, also entering so in this case um I mean tons ratio is 1 is to 1 1 is to n okay remember so according to our dot convention don't worry about v1 your i1 is entering the dot the dotted terminal must be positive do you have the positive terminal we're good so you can say n over 1 equal to v2 over v1 okay now we'll come to the current okay now the current supposed to leave this positive terminal okay i2 supposed to go out of the positive terminal but it is entering so we'll end up with i1 over i2 equal to negative n or you can say um, n over 1 equal to negative negative i2 since the current is um, flowing in the opposite direction so for this you can write it down as i1 over i2 equal to negative n okay i will solve uh, i will explain another example here is the next example here i1 current is entering the dot so the dot terminal must be positive but he gave you negative terminal we know that um it's supposed to be positive but you end up, end up giving negative so v2 over v1 equal to or minus v2 over v1 equal to n i can write it down as v2 over v1 equal to negative n okay next one so this supposed to be positive here negative there and v2 now when it comes to i2 i2 current supposed to go out of this positive terminal not the given one okay it's supposed to go out of this new v2 Okay, this new V2, I wrote it down based on the dot convention. It's supposed to go out of positive terminal of V2, but the I2 is coming into the positive terminal. Um, I, negative um, I1 over I2, let me put the I2 as a negative, equal to N. So, I1 over I2 equal to negative N. I will explain a couple of more examples to understand it better. So, remember one thing whenever you are solving, you have to remember this picture. Okay, and uh, if current is entering the dot, the dotted terminal must be positive, and current has to go out of the positive terminal. As long as you remember that, you can find out which, which terminal is negative, which terminal is positive. Here is the next example here look at i1 i1 is leaving the dot okay so the dotted terminal must be positive 
sorry the dot terminal must be negative okay the opposite terminal must be positive so this is our new v2 okay forget about the old one so the old one is in the opposite side you must have negative v2 over v1 equal to n so basically v2 over v1 equal to negative n now we'll look into the i1 uh, sorry i2 so i2 supposed to go out of this terminal is that true when the i2 is entering there basically assume that there is some load here when there is some load i2 is going to leave this positive terminal and enter the uh, enter the negative terminal so i2 supposed to be like this the given one is also same thing because the i2 is leaving this terminal and going in that direction okay so your i1 over i2 equal to positive n okay so this is another example let me solve a couple of more examples to find this uh, dot convention in the transformer in this example so the i1 current is leaving the dot so the dotted terminal must be negative this must be positive here so the current so this is our new v2 according to the dot convention and i2 supposed to leave assuming there is uh, some load here okay so the v2 has the opposite side opposite sign v2 over v1 equal to or minus v2 over v1 equal to n over 1 or v2 over v1 equal to minus n now when it comes to the current i2 supposed to go out of this this terminal terminal down here and enter there the given one is also in the same direction so i1 over i2 equal to n over 1 so i1 over i2 equal to positive n here our i1 i1 current is leaving the dot okay so the dotted terminal must be negative okay so our v2 the given v2 and according to our dotted convention v2 they both are in the same direction so there won't be any negative v2 over v1 equal to um, n over 1 okay that's a positive value now when it comes to current this current i2 supposed to go out of this positive terminal he gave you negative i mean opposite direction so definitely i1 over i2 so it's going to be negative i2 equal to n so i1 over i2 equal to negative n i think we have enough examples here in the next video i'm going to start solving an example by using uh, by using this trans transformer ratio thank you